Every single year, a couple weeks after the wrestling season basically concludes, there's this day that comes up known as April Fools. Growing up, I was never the one to really just, you know, do a prank or fool people. It was, the prank was usually done on me. But I was fed up with it and I decided for the past couple years to do my own yearly April Fools video. And in this one, I'm not just coming on here saying I'm quitting wrestling or I'm transferring like I have done in the past where uh, this video three years ago, what's next after Parkside, where I tricked some people into thinking I was transferring or quitting wrestling. But long story short, for this year, basically everyone knows Penn State is the top wrestling school in all of college wrestling it is basically the best dynasty that we've ever seen and because every kid in wrestling definitely wants to go to Penn State to win their own individual title and national title and team title I thought of this idea for over a year when I actually went to Penn State and we actually filmed a really dope video a couple of awesome podcasts with Bo Bartlett and this idea really came up because he actually does these singlet swaps where he basically edits other committing college recruits who are going to Penn State he edits them in a Penn State singlet super cool super nice and I kind of ran the idea by him I'm like what if next April and this I think, I don't know when we were filming. It was probably like June, June or something. And I told him how funny would it be for the April Fool's thing to put me in a Penn State singlet and post it and like act like I'm transferring there. Long story short, the year flew by. I never really uh, contacted him about like the idea or whatever to make it really look clean. So I actually took to my Photoshop to try to singlet swap. And it is like the hardest thing I've tried to do. I like, I'm, I'm, I can work my way around Photoshop and Lightroom and do all this, but I'll tell you what, I, I gotta give him extra cred and everyone else who kind of does that has that singlet swap. But long story short, we ended up making it look like this, which it didn't turn out like terrible other than like, of course, like the logos like just cut out. But honestly, like the singlet color was basically it. It doesn't have like shadows or anything, but I'm not gonna lie, I made the background black and white to turn it just a little bit better, and honestly, it looked like I was committing there. Now, I made this basically as a joke. I didn't even know if I was gonna post it, and I was talking to Crosby, I'm like, okay, like, should I post this? Like, this is so, like, this is so stupid, but at the end of the day, he was like, come on, like, do it, like, you made it and stuff, so. So I posted with the caption, this was long overdue, and I'm also down in the picture too. I did hashtag April 1st and hashtag go Rangers, just so people can really know that it's like, it's a joke if you really, you know, look at it but man were people just like believing this people really really bought in and i i don't know i i give credit to the penn state guys i give credit to roman and Bo for also playing along to the joke but we're gonna go into the comments here kind of read them just so you can see like how people really like believe this so Bo bartlett of course you know he's my same weight you know commented your time is now and that got you know 1200 likes which was absolutely insane and then someone replied watch out he's coming for your spot but you know, thankfully, Bo just said, that spot's all mine now. <laughs> and actually, my girlfriend, Kelsey, she actually commented, so proud of you. I didn't even tell her about this idea, but she was playing along with it. Crosby said, congrats, they need you more than us. Uh, that got 524 likes. So, I mean, that's true. I mean, uh, I think a program like Penn State could benefit from, you know, two-time blood around uh, finisher in Division II. Um, it's not like they had like a, you know, national finalist um, in my same way, it's, but. but this is kind of funny too. I don't know if you guys know Muggsy on Instagram, but he had a couple viral videos of him like hitting ankle picks in beach wrestling, but super cool stuff he's doing. Never wrestled in college, but you know, he's grown on socials, you know, because of wrestling and it's super, super cool to see, but he actually believed this hard. And what's super, super funny about this, he posted like it to his story, he was all hyped and I go on his live later. Like, okay, okay guys, of course this is a joke, but I go on his live later Later, and he was just he was saying how how much he believed it and he was so bad at me and it was I was dying and also Roman actually commented excited to train with you bro and I was like dude like people are gonna believe this and I come up to back let's let's get to work so we're sitting at 1400 likes and 500 likes for those and you know just as Finley said like they would win every duel and I think, I think they would, it's like, it's not like they have won every single duel, but you know, I just said time to make a change in the program, you know, really, really trying to raise the bar, trying to raise the bar. And of course there was a comment almost had me until I realized it was April Fools. Long story short, I think April Fools is one of the coolest things involved in marketing. You know, it, being in school, you know, I am a marketing major and stuff, but I also just like love just learning about what gets people's attention on stuff. Like there's a reason like I make videos. Of course I make them so that I can, you know, eventually watch back as I'm older, you know, have this turn into a career, but also just to see like, why do people actually like this? What about it, you know, makes people tick. And I mean, just, I think the storyline 
of me being, you know, uh, basically just a, you know, wrestling content creator, but doing it for so long and going to like the top of the pinnacle of the sport. Listen, guys, it is so easier said than done, but wrestling is such an unforgiving sport, and there there is so many good guys at so many high levels, and it was very very interesting to see, you know, everyone's reaction to that. And it even got posted in a Facebook group too. On the wrestling room has a bunch of members. Essit dude says, "What you think, April Fools? I sure hope so." <laughs> What is that supposed to mean? But yeah, it was just all fun and games, all for the jokes. Um, of course, I'm staying at Parkside. I mean, growing up with these guys on my team, like legit for the past, you know, going on, you know, five years now, growing the relationships, being so close to home and, you know, visualizing myself up on that room on that national champ board and have my, you know, my picture in the wrestling room. I don't want my picture in any other wrestling room. So, but just kind of overlooking the overall insights of the photo and what this did, this turned into my most liked Instagram photo of all time. And it was a joke. But pretty much this is just under 24 hours. It ended up getting 36,321 likes. This beat my other previous post. I, my other previous post had 30,000. And that was another recent one where I said I was going back to uh, the state tournament to watch. It had 369 comments, 3,671 like shares, which was basically these people putting them on their story or even just sending them to like their friends or group chats or stuff like that. Also ended with 449 saves. But we can see here in the amount of people it reached now this is this is crazy i've never had a post reach like you, you really can't have a post reach every single one of your followers because it just that's just not how social media works but the fact that you know we got 128,000 followers to see it and also 15,000 non-followers so that means people who were sharing that to their story the people who weren't following me were kind of clicking on that seeing it from the explore page you know thankfully no one took it too serious it's just like a fun little thing but we'll see i, I gotta think about what happens next next year though so just uh just be prepared if i decide to do something. What's up guys, Crosby Slusher here, full owner, 100% owner of Clash of Combat, part owner of Cauliflower Combat Gear. Today's the biggest day of Clash of Combat's lives. Basically, the merch, the Clash of Combat merch is finally out, wearing the hoodie, 3D puffed embroidery. Tell us, tell us about it. It's embroidered. <laughs> <laughs> On amount of profits, all go back into Clash of Combat so we can upgrade gear, travel, get the best guests, and produce the best content for you guys. So with this merch drop, it is officially live, but there are three pieces. We got a crew neck for you guys, a t-shirt, and of course, we got the hoodie. So like Crosby was saying, this is another way that you know we as Clash of Combat can really fundraise to go on these trips to film with wrestlers and really make the best wrestling content in the wrestling world. So in advance, we appreciate all the support and just thank you so much. But if you do happen to get the merch, we'll be reposting everyone on Instagram as just a way to showcase and grow the community. But thanks guys so much for watching this video. The drop is live, top link in the description below. We'll see you guys next video.